Well, there's there's one scenario too. I want to dig in on the incentive token, um, where right now, for example, if you're if you're uh, farming incentive token, you're participating in one of the farms of the different pairs, and then you want to roll that into one of the ink farms. Maybe you want to roll mm -hmm. it in. You know, you're participating in stablecoin and pulse, and then you're earning ink. And now, okay, I don't want to sell the ink. I want to roll it into mm -hmm. uh, the pulse ink farm and 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 do it that way, and, and just keep compounding your ink over and over. That takes what five six clicks at least you know a bit different different calls to the contract mm -hmm. and things like that exactly it seems like it was perfectly suited for tetra to just because every otherwise every morning or every week or whatever you're, you're waking up you're doing all the clicks you're like oh i wish I had my job wasn't clicking all these buttons even though it's funny enough so simple is that a perfect job for tetra oh perfectly and stuff like that that the concept of just of reinvesting your your your, your yield to grow your bags you know exponentially that's the point and so this is where Tetris power will, will show itself when people start really seeing all the options with the rest of the DeFi protocols, like liquid loans, power city and stuff, they come online. Um, we're really going to have some options to, uh, to see like, man, this take a long time. I, mean, I did that video on the, on the arbitrage between liquid loans and, and earned and man, that. that was like a 45 minute video. And yeah. I had a pre, I had a plan. I still took me that 45 minutes. And so it is what it is. And I don't, I want to spend 45 minutes a day hoping I catch the slot from the time it takes uh, and not miss you know, the price action as I'm going and checking the price between the different pairs. Well, what would that look like? So you know, there's going to be a marketplace for different strategies uh, and things you can use. You can design them with Atlas and then there'll be a mm -hmm. portal for you to actually, uh, you know, I guess, connect your wallet, have your wallet there that has the coins you want to make all the uh, moves mm -hmm. with on the using Tetra. How, how would it actually work with, for example, just rolling over ink? Would it just be, I, I know you you don't have something on the screen to show us at this point, but how how would you actually do that where you don't even have to touch it? If you just want to keep rolling your ink over and keep compounding it, how would you yeah. do that uh, with yeah. the Tetra? So yeah, what you, you your wallet is connected to your the farm. You call the farm contract down, and then you would just tell the contract at say whatever interval you want. Pick your interval time, right? Withdraw your funds because those permissions are already granted in the strategy wallet. It would automatically withdraw and you just have it take those funds and then. If in the case of if, you, if you're getting the ink, let's say you have an ink farm and you want to reinvest ink in another farm, you just send it to the other farm and deposit it in your LP position. And they just do that every day. In the period, it just it would do. Now, if you want to take the other, do something else with it or go back to the same farm, let's say, let's say you have a, an ink pulse pair and you want to take that and grow it, you'd have to have some extra pulse to make the pair, right? Well, maybe you sell half the ink for pulse and put them get in together, make new LP tokens and then re, and then redeposit them. Something like that, you see. And you would just automatically do it though at whatever your time interval, once a day, once every hour, depends on what you got, and, and grow those bags proportionally. Wow. And then uh, the other scenario that I thought was interesting, which was the um, once the, because because we got Xerox Coast, they have the fiat on ramp, it's live on mm -hmm. Ethereum, Pulse Chain's coming at some point. I remember you talking about before the passive income thing where you could set up a contract, maybe go through a scenario where you set it up and you, can literally like cash out every once in a while. Maybe once you get to a certain balance and then hit a field on ramp and just, just you're looking at basically a paycheck at that point. Correct. So let's say you go ahead and when, when coast comes to pulse chain, you go ahead and do your setup and get your account set up and link it to a wallet. And so, and that wallet maybe may not be a Tetra wallet, it may just be a, say, say another MetaMask or whatever. Right. And so you have this, this MetaMask wallet that's a link to your coast. And then what you'd have to do then is, set up the outflow of your yield a portion of it let's say this from our ink farm or ink farm and say once a week we take 10 percent of that we go to the uh to that we send to that wallet automatically and then we go and go to the coast contract and click it and go to, and, and I, I guess you would have to probably go to their front end to convert from the stable coin to the fiat i would imagine but it's already there in the wallet though you just hit convert and it's in your bank account so all that's it's just sent to that point and you just go to coast and do it uh, I don't know if it would automatically convert it or not because I'm not sure the contract's written. It's, that's a technical question because that may not be on the blockchain. You know what I mean? That may be a, a front end deal, uh, the actual conversion, but at least you get it there. Just one or two clicks, you're done. Interesting. So there may be, if it's, so maybe the furthest you could get is getting it to coast and then maybe on, mm -hmm. maybe they'll come up with a feature that's automatically withdrawal or something like that. Maybe something like that. Yeah. It. Mm -hmm. to the platform at that point yeah okay. yeah I, i'm not quite sure on on the, some of the details because that is you is a third party involved because coast is the middleman but that, that uh, the uh, the company that's the holding the coins there are you know that 
the, they're the uh, uh, recipients of the coins and holding it temporarily until you go into your bank account. So you have to deal with the third party somehow. If they don't have a blockchain way to do it, we can't automate it. 